Today, hundreds of activists flooded Virginia's state capitol to advocate for what they call common sense gun laws. The group Moms Demand Action is lobbying for several bills introduced by Democrats that they say will increase safety. Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder is in Richmond with their call to action, while Republicans introduced their own gun legislation. Lawmakers here in Richmond have a stack of bills on their desks relating to guns this session. Dozens of them would tighten gun laws and dozens would loosen existing laws. And just beyond that stack of bills, advocates with Moms Demand Action lobbying lawmakers. <laughs> Filling a room near Virginia's Capitol, hundreds of volunteers seemingly starstruck to see the founder of Moms Demand Action, Shannon Watts. Mary Wright Baylor from Northern Virginia first met Watts when she started lobbying for gun laws about six years ago. In the years since, Moms Demand has grown to 10 million volunteers, and Watts' fight has made her a national figure. When she walks into Joe Biden's office, he, he's awed by what she's done and, and what she has accomplished in just 10 years. Watts recently announced she's stepping down from leading the group she created, but says one of her proudest moments was right here in Virginia. After the Virginia Beach mass shooting, when Republicans gaveled in and out without doing anything on the issue of gun safety, our volunteers could have backed down, but they doubled down. <laughs> Just months later, Democrats flipped both chambers of the state house blue. But now, with the divided government, Dems will have a tough time passing bills just filed that would ban the purchase of newer model assault style weapons and bills that would tighten up gun and ammo storage. Gun rights advocate Phil Van Cleve hopes Republicans in the House stop these bills. Let, let there be punishment for people that are irresponsible. Let's not try to make everybody change their ways because of a few irresponsible people. Right now, local governments throughout Northern Virginia ban carrying a gun in certain public settings like parks and town squares. Republican delegate Dave LaRock wants to repeal that authority from local governments. We're a Dillon rule state, and I think one of the strongest arguments in favor of continuity is is that uh, people benefit from it. They can understand the law and it can be applied uniformly and they're not caught off guard doing something illegal that they never intended to do. Political analysts I've spoken with aren't really expecting much to get done by way of gun legislation, assuming that most politicians will just vote along party lines, especially with every member of the General Assembly up for re-election this November. Reporting in Richmond, Drew Wilder, News 4.